The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go to File, New, and Empty. We're gonna start from complete scratch. Next, we're gonna go to Options, Audio Settings. We are gonna select our input and output device. Now, this is gonna be different for everybody depending on what kind of audio interface you're using. In my case, I'm using the Universal Audio Thunderbolt. I keep my sample rate at 48,000 hertz. And this part is really important. You're gonna to need to have your buffer length at 128 samples or three milliseconds. So there's no latency when recording vocals. A quick tip, they now have an option where you're able to select a metronome track. This is going to be your metronome track in your mixer. So if I select insert five and I turn on the metronome and I press play, I'm able to control the volume of that metronome track which is very helpful when recording vocals. With FL Studio 21, it is now easier than ever <laughs> to record vocals. All you really have to do is go up to this plus window right here. You can left click and select add an audio track, or you can just right click and it automatically adds a record track for you. And the best part is you can continue to create audio tracks or record tracks by simply right clicking and you can see it just connects everything right there. If you look at insert one here, and we can rename this to your record track one, it's gonna give you three options. From left to right, your first option is going to be your input selection. Mine is gonna be mic line insert one, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you choose or select the mono insert. So once you select that, you might get this pop-up window saying it's gonna be external input only. This is okay, you definitely wanna select yes. As you can see, it's picking up my vocals already and we are, we're, we're set to record. You wanna just make sure that the arm disc for recording is turned on. You'll know when it's turned on when it's highlighted red. If you right click the record button, you're gonna see that there's recording options. The first recording option is recording starts on playback. We wanna make sure that when we press the record button, it's gonna start recording your vocals right away. This saves a lot of time when recording vocals. So let's go ahead and make sure that's checked. The next thing we have is disarm on stop. What this means is after we're done recording and you press the space bar to stop recording your track, the record button is going to turn off. You'll definitely want that checked as well. <laughs> now that we have these two recording options selected, let's go ahead and start recording our vocals. In the playlist, you can select the playhead anywhere. We'll just start at five, I guess. Doesn't matter where you start. So let's go ahead and press R. As you can see, it's picking up our vocals. Everything is being recorded and we are set to go. One of the new features that FL Studio 21 has is the clip gain option. I'm so happy they added this. This is so helpful when it comes to saving your track. Let's say I recorded my vocals way too high or way too quiet. I'm able to adjust the audio clip gain within this WAV file, but that's not it. We have fade in option here. All you gotta do is grab this corner and move it over here. It's super nice when it comes to the unwanted clicks and pops in the beginning of a recording. Now let's go ahead and mute this track. The cool thing is if you wanted to record on this track again, it's gonna automatically create a group recording for you. I'll show you what I mean. All you gotta do is arm the disarm for recording. It's picking up our vocals. We can just press R to record. You can see it's picking up my vocals yet again and it grouped these recordings. So there you have it. You can see that it is now grouped. This is awesome, especially when it comes to recording verses or you have to re-record verses. If you're vocal comping, this is super, super helpful. If you wanna know more advanced recording options in FL Studio, be sure to watch this video.